In this video, we are looking at a DVR into details. This is a digital video recorder or a DVR, which is the recording system for AHD or analog CCTV camera installations. This is the front panel of this DVR. In front here are LED indicators that show power, hard disk drive and network presence. The connection ports on this device are located at the back of the device. The first port here is the DC power port through which power is supplied to the DVR. A 12 volts DC power adapter like this is used to feed power into the DVR by simply plugging this end into the DC power port of the DVR. This next port here is an RS485 port for connecting the control cables for PTZ cameras. Here is an RJ45 port through which internet can be supplied into the DVR to facilitate the remote viewing of the cameras connected to this DVR on mobile phones and other smart devices. Below here are USB ports for connecting USB devices to the DVR. You can use it for a mouse or even a backup drive with USB for backing up data from the DVR. To have a better understanding of this set of ports, let's first look at these other ports. These are video inputs through which AHD CCTV cameras are connected into the DVR. These connectors you see here are called female BNC connectors. And it is these connectors that are used to determine the capacity of a DVR in terms of the maximum number of cameras that can be connected into the DVR. Let's take for instance, this DVR is a 4-channel DVR since it has provision for a maximum of 4 cameras which is indicated by these 4 BNC inputs. These are audio inputs. They are the ports through which sound or audio cables from cameras with microphones embedded in them can be connected into the DVR. And so these are provisions made in case all four cameras have microphones so that the sound from those cameras can be fed into the DVR. The VGA output here enables you to connect your DVR to a monitor to facilitate the view of your DVR and the camera videos on a monitor which has a VGA input. This is the type of cable that connects to the VGA port. I guess you are familiar with this type of cable. There is also this output which is the HD output where you can connect an HDMI cable so that you can have your DVR connected to a TV screen or any other screen that has an HDMI input using the HDMI cable. This port is where you connect a speaker in order to hear sound from cameras that have microphone. Let's now look at the interior part of the DVR because you will most definitely need to install a hard disk drive into the DVR. So we'll open the DVR by losing the screws around it. So we'll open the case. As you can see, there is no hard disk drive in the DVR currently. And this is exactly how it comes when you purchase it new. The four holes provided here are meant for holding the hard disk drive, which you will have to purchase separately and install into the DVR. Here is a hard disk drive I intend to install in my DVR. The DVR comes with both the power connection cable and then the data cable for connecting the hard disk drive into the DVR. So we will be plugging the cables into the hard disk drive. We'll start with the data cable. So I'll plug the data cable here. It is firmly locked into the hard drive. So I'll connect the power cable as well. I'll plug it here. 
There are supposed to be four screws below the hard disk drive that must be used to lock the DVR. But I continually remove it for training purposes, so I have only two screws in place. So I'll place it in the DVR this way and then tighten the screws from behind the DVR. We can now connect the cables. This is the power cable. It goes here, push it to lock. And then the data connection goes here. So we can just close the case and then the DVR is ready for use. Please join me in the next video as we set up a full AHD system from beginning to end. See you in that video. Thank you.